Welcome to my channel. Today I would like to talk a moment about Stonehenge and Avebury. As you may know, I made an important discovery about Stonehenge. I created this video about that, which now pops up in the upper right corner of your screen. What's so special about my discovery about Stonehenge? Well, my database contains only square and rectangular buildings, and contains now nearly 1200 ancient buildings with megaliths stretching from North and South America, Europe, the Middle East, Africa, and all of Asia. This covers a huge area that shows one convincing and overwhelming pattern in terms of orientation. They are oriented toward five poles. You can see here the corresponding picture that you probably know by now. Stonehenge has only one axis of symmetry, while most buildings have two, because they are square or rectangular. Stonehenge is not in the database, while the axis of symmetry is oriented to one of the poles. What is the probability that this could happen by chance? About 10 to 15 percent. So that is not very spectacular, but there is more. Now it turns out that if we reconstruct the situation of Stonehenge with a pole it is oriented to, that Stonehenge's solstice angles shine exactly through the major trilathons, as I show here. What is the probability that this is a coincidence? Then, all at once, the probability of chance appears to be greatly reduced to less than 0.001%, or almost zero. So the probability that Stonehenge was built, while originally oriented toward pole 4, is about 100%. But there is more. Now let's take a look at Avebury. What about Avebury? Well, Avebury is also round and has two axes of symmetry, as you see here. Now it turns out, of all the possibilities out there, that Avebury was also oriented to one of these poles, and that is pole 2. What are the odds of this? Well, we saw from Stonehenge that because of the combination with orientation and sources angles, it suddenly began to have significance, and the odds of this are extremely small. Now, Avebury comes on top of that. What are the chances of coincidence that this setting of megalithic monuments that are not in the database do match the poles? These have been decimated to zero with these two matching monuments. What exactly is the situation, in my opinion? Stonehenge is as old as Paul IV and Avebury was originally as old as Paul II. That is what the actual situation is, regardless of what archaeologists tell us. This is what pure mathematical methods can do and this is what I've been working on non-stop for the past 10 years. When you start understanding how dizzyingly old these poles are, with enormous high probability, you start understanding that Homo sapiens was only a hunter-gatherer during the enormously long-lasting catastrophes. If you know that the last catastrophe began about 130,000 years ago and only settled down again about 26,000 years ago, then you start to better understand our picture of the surviving hunter-gatherer. My work shows how Kobleki Tepe was also convincingly oriented towards these poles. Wow, these monuments are also not part of the database, further decimating any coincidence. Then to my final point. 
Why then are English megaliths such as Stonehenge and Avebury not overgrown while Kobleki Tepe is? That is a good question. I think the answer may be that in England there is a very old Druidic tradition in which people sought meaning in ancient monuments, while in Turkey, for whatever reason, they have lost this tradition. You help me tremendously by supporting my work. I am currently hard at work on my book, which goes much deeper into this matter, and still apart from illustrations at about 75%. When this work is finished, the book will be translated from Dutch into English, so that I can begin to reach out to a much larger audience. The discoveries about Stonehenge and Avebury, which, as I said earlier, are not part of my database, but convincingly show exactly how things are, are a milestone in new discoveries about our origins. Thank you very much for listening, and I hope to welcome you at my Patreon page.